we kill ourselves because they can't really do it, but we could do it because we have the strength. We encourage everybody. I brought this up about the uh, the nigga shit, like saying the word nigga and all of this type of shit. Big conversation. You right know, now. like people are, uh, you know. Why do we let certain people say nigga? Uh, you know, can Drake say nigga? Da, 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 da. Listen, everybody follows black people. If you don't want people to say nigga, then we have to stop saying it. Period. If 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 you don't care, then keep saying it. But if you feel a way, because we're the only ones that call ourselves by a derogatory term. Right. Nobody else. Spanish people don't say spicks. Chinese people don't call themselves chinks. Nobody else does that except us. But yet, everybody follows what we do. So they're going to dress like us. They're going to walk like us. They're going to talk like us. Unfortunately. And they're not going to stop just because you said, no, that's the one thing you can't do. They're doing everything else like you. Why would they stop there? So if you have a problem with the word nigga, then we, as the mothers and fathers of civilization, need to lead by example. Take some accountability for it. Take some accountability for our power. For our power. Because we're not running around calling each other bendejos or blood clots or any other uh, outside Sure. Influenced uh, derogatory term. We're calling ourselves niggas because that's some southern black, black thing, yeah. foundational American shit. Yeah. It is. It's that's funny point, when too. I watch the the um, there's they're now giving us so much more of the black experience in the mother of America, England. Right, so we we had a uh, top um, top boy, mm -hmm. which was a big hit on Netflix, and um, there's another. Even show I couldn't now. fully get into it. Neither could my husband. <laughs> he couldn't. He just couldn't. He just, it just it didn't speak to him. And um, they in their music, their interpretation of drill, are using nigga, mm -hmm. with the Queen's accent, mm -hmm. right? And it it's cringe worthy. It's like, ugh, you know, it just it, it feels like slime going in between your toes, like, ugh. Say something about that. Wow, they're kind of comfortable, you know, using that. Well, again, they've but been trying to us. replace the foundational black American with these English actors and Absolutely. shit. Absolutely. And it's fucking retarded. It and is. now they're trying to trick us into liking their like there's some English rap I'm hearing now over here. Like some like there's a dude that did a song with um, Lil Baby, um, some English man. I think he's white too. And it's like, they're trying to push this shit on us, just like they're pushing the Afro beats. I do not fuck with this Afro beats. I'm sorry. I don't, it, doesn't, it doesn't resonate with me. Like, like hip hop and reggae, reggae fucking re resonate. Like dance hall, um, rockers, that shit resonates with me. Now, I don't know if it's because this part of the... Western hemispheres, I don't know. But that Afrobeat shit sounds like bootleg reggae to me, like where they're trying to almost like, you know what I mean? Like, it's, it's just not, I don't know, man. It's just, I'm not feeling it. Like, I'm not feeling it. Um, the way that the frequency of reggae touches me when I hear it. So I'm not easily fooled out here. You know what I mean? Afrobeats is definitely trying to replace yes. dance hall and R and B. Never gonna do it. And it's not gonna happen. Not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. No, I don't you know why. Many... Because we as foundational black, if we don't say it's a go, it's not a go. And you could try to trick us because niggas is only fucking with it right now because they'll go to a club and there'll be girls that are dancing to it. And they just wanna dance with the broads and you know. Mm -hmm. But trust me. Somebody's gonna put their foot down and be like, enough! <laughs> enough of this shit! <laughs> put some other shit on. I have uh, to be honest, I used to even, I, lo I love reggae, but I still would be at parties and be like, all right, 
<laughs> enough now. Back to the hip hop shit. Like, come on. <laughs> enough. <laughs> I think we all did. Like after, <laughs> after you don't walk to the bar and you don't came back, you're like just right. like we was like enough with the break dancing, okay? <laughs> we want to dance with girls. Fuck with this circle and shit. You're taking up too much space. Enough with this bullshit. You did have to make a path. You Seriously. Have to make a path. And then we and then it's the corny niggas like trying to get the girls by spinning on their back. Get out of here, nigga. <laughs> the live niggas on the floor, man. I want to rub on something, man. <laughs> Fuck out of here. <laughs>